Collins feels like a bit of a watershed moment to me, really. Um, the film Fire in Babylon has brought so much together. You must be absolutely excited and delighted to be part of it from, from beginning to end. The truth be told, um, when we were playing, we never thought we were um, going to be featured in a film like Fire in, you know, in Babylon. It's a tremendous film. I've seen it. Um, there's a lot that could have been added, but if you had added everything, it would have been maybe two days of the cricket. But um, yeah, it, I think it epitomized the West Indies from being colonies into independence to being a world beating cricket team that represented that independence most people growing up over the many years the west indies team of 70s and 80s was such a fearsome group of people and you're in the middle of it and you said you were just playing cricket what an exciting time well it was exciting but it's i suppose only after we stopped playing we recognize how important it was been for a lot of reasons firstly because we um we haven't been doing too well in the last, say, 15 years especially, but even from about 1985-90, we had started struggling. Um, but also, I think at that time, everybody was just coming out of, um, feeling themselves more than anything else, becoming a unit, becoming a, a, a neat uh, microcosm of what the Caribbean has become. You know, it used to be, okay, British Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago and Jamaica and Barbados primarily and then the Leeward and Windward Islands. And then you had the West Indies cricket team led by Clive Lloyd and then especially Viv Richards epitomizing a coming together of 16 or 17 islands into 11 people beating the entire world. 7 million people producing a cricket team that beats the entire world. And, it's, you know, you think, hold on. How did this happen? It had to be a miracle. It was, I think the word I use is synchronicity. It's everything happening at the right time with the right kind of people you had holding and Greenwich and Richards and Lloyd and I suppose people like Garner, myself and Andy Roberts and, you know, and Kali Charan and Fredericks, Haynes. And at the right time, the, perhaps the right people were playing for the West Indies and we managed to beat the rest of the world. As young men playing the game, just coming into the game, of course, as you say, it's just cricket. But you've gone on to be the legends of the game through the team spirit. And that is something that really is epitomised through the film, but also, as you say, the islands coming together and only for cricket. Well, I always say, like Clint Eastwood says, I'm a legend in my own mind. <laughs> but having said that, I am... Um, uh, this legendary status, look, we played cricket. We tried the best we can. Uh, the thing about us, though, I think in the 70s and 80s is that we were more focused on, on fitness and on controlling and on making things, just, just being the best you can. We had no sense of money because we played for no money. I mean, I remember Roy Frederick saying to me that they played for a pound a day when they came here in 1969, I think. Now, when I started playing, 1976, 77, my first series against Pakistan, um, man of the match, uh, I think four times in five test matches and three won the internationals, man of the series overall. And I had to borrow money to get a down payment for my mother's house. We had no money. So we were playing for the love of the game because we wanted to, it's the, probably the thing to do in the Caribbean at that time. And you tried your best. It so happened that the best, um, not only my best, but people like Holding and, you know, and, and Greenwich and the rest of that came together to make that special team. They say it's been an amazing time, amazing journey, and obviously a lot of cricket's been played in this. If there was throughout all of this one game that stood out for you that you thought summed everything up or was just the best game of cricket you've ever, been, you've ever played in, would there be one that you could put your mind to? A couple of games that I remember, um, particularly my, my second test match, I got 8 for 29 against Pakistan. It still stands at, um, as a record for fast bowling in the West Indies. But I suppose the one against England, 1981, um, and Barbados, Michael holding ball so quickly. No, not even the, the cricketers out in the field saw the ball. Forget about the batsman. Um, I mean, it's a legendary over to Jeffrey Boycott and all the rest of that. Joel Garner and I got a lot of wickets in the, in the game and everything else. But that game, I think, and perhaps another one against Australia, 1979-80 at Adelaide, uh, when we beat Australia for the first time. I think that was the real pump of the West Indies cricket team. The team was Greenwich and Haynes um, in 79, 80. And then you had people like um, Kali Charan, Richards, um, Rowe, Lloyd, King, 
um, Murray, then you had holding Robert Garner Croft, you had Malcolm Marshall and Sylvester Clark as reserves. And at that time, I think everybody were at the top of their game. And I suppose those three games and that era, somewhere around 78 to probably 82 for us, at least, was when I thought everything was as, as good as it could get. Last question then. Um, hopefully the film will be able to re-inspire, shall we say, the current West Indian team to aspire to the status or, or the abilities that you guys played at. That's a very, very tough ask because the truth be told, uh, I mean, we most of us stopped in the middle eighties to play. Then they had people like Ambrose and Walsh and Bishop as the faster bowlers coming through. And they didn't do too badly. Um, they had the Benjamins. But then we started losing. And to say that a film would inspire a generation, it's a very difficult thing because two generations of cricketers have already passed since we saw playing. And of course, we know the results. We've been losing a lot since 1995. So it's a big, tough ask. But if I suppose the film could inspire at least one cricketer, a young person, man or woman, because they, of course there's ladies cricket these days, um, if they could be inspired enough to play for the West Indies and play well, I think we will have done our job and the film will have done its job. Listen, thank you very much for your time and I wish you no well. No problem. Thank Thanks. you.